everyone, today I've got a shopping haul for you because we're going on holiday to Woburn Centre Park tomorrow. Quite excited, I've bought some new holiday clothes for uh, me mainly because I am now a size smaller and everything's just really baggy. And you know when you're just looking through your wardrobe and you're looking at your jumpers and your cardigans which are a staple part of my wardrobe and all of them are like really old and they're all like old Primark ones anyway. So the ones that shouldn't really last that long anyway so I thought it's time that I need to get some more and because I've lost a stone in a month through illness uh, then I thought it was high time that I get some clothes that fits me and looks nice and can look nice in all of my photos that we're going to take on holiday. Uh, I've also got Georgia a few little bits so like a swimming costume because I suddenly realised that we hadn't got a swimming costume that fits her anymore because she keeps growing. That's what happens with little people, they keep growing. So without further ado, um, this is from Next. Uh, isn't it adorable? This was, um, I think the tag says it was like £13. It wasn't £13, I think it was like £6.50. Um, and it's like, even on the back, it's got like a nice little nice little details on it so and her little face when I showed her this she just went <gasps> so I love that she's now at that age where she's really like you know she knows that that's a fish um, she's seen Finding Nemo she hasn't seen the Dora film because we haven't got it and um, obviously she hasn't been to the cinema to watch it because she's only one and a half so that is for her I uh, think she's gonna look adorable in that we are gonna go and see Santa on Tuesday booked in £13 for five minutes for Woburn Santa uh, which sounds ridiculous but it's going to be magical she's going to love it hopefully hope she doesn't cry she probably will so for that I bought her a little magical dress and so I've put it back that far so you can see see it all and let's zoom for the detail see it's nice um, embossed I suppose a lovely kind of red colour and this is from uh, from Tesco FNF and this was £10, and a lovely sparkly colour. I'm really struggling though to find some shoes, so she's just going to have to wear her normal, I think she's got like two pairs of shoes, or her wellies. Next I have, ooh, some festive pyjamas. These came in a set of two from Tesco, because I wanted to get her some new pyjamas anyway, because I can't have enough pyjamas. Um, but they had loads of just pink ones for girls. I have nothing against pink. I like pink as a colour, but like, does everything in the world need to be pink for a girl and blue for a boy? No. So I thought I'd just get some festive pyjamas because they're not pink. Um, and I was in Tesco at the time and needed some new pyjamas for her. So, and um, she loves those and she keeps going, Ring dear. So well, that's good, getting her into the festive spirit early because it takes her a while to learn new things. Of pajamas for her because I couldn't resist these ones are from Primark and this is her first like proper pair of pajamas gonna have a little flannel it's just really nice and soft and has uh, little heart details is that focusing focus on it there you go so just look little button down top and little kind of cute details on the Pocket. Not that she needs pockets for anything, I suppose she could shove a tissue down there if she wanted, if she's the pleased. With a nice pair of trousers, and they're just like normal trousers with a, just like a straight cut, I suppose. But they're lovely. So that is everything that I've got for Georgia. She already has plenty of clothes from the previous hauls that I've done. So she shall be wearing lots of nice things and things that we can go out and enjoy centre parks no matter what the weather. Um, I've then got lots of nice warm clothes to keep me warm. The first is a nice like jumper. I really love this colour. It's just like a really nice like muted nude colour and like it's really nice and soft on the inside and it's got like a fleece, fleecy, fleecy, fleecy on the inside. It's just a nice kind of like zipped zipped hoodie top. Uh, now th this always reminds me, um, this is a, a grey cardigan, quite nice like plain 
Can't, does anyone else use their chin to fold everything? Like, if I didn't have a chin, my chin is my third arm. Right, so I just thought I'd do it up a bun so that you could see that it's like a round neck cardigan. Um, but every time I buy something that's grey, it always reminds me of that old Twix advert, if you remember the one that went, grey has never been out of fashion because it's never been in fashion. Um, the only problem with that was grey was then in fashion that autumn. Ha! Uh, so they never ran that advert again. Poor Twix. Um, anyway, so a nice grey. So I, I'm just really loving muted colours um, which match my new hair too. Can you see my new colour hair feels? Like a coppery, coppery brownie red. So that's my lovely grey cardigan. I then have, I went for a bit more colour on this one and it's just, oh, I love it, I love it so much. Look how long it is. <laughs> so just a really nice like knitted jumper, like a round, just like thick, like warm, oh you could just imagine just, just it's just so cosy, I can go and watch the fireworks or something in this because I've got fireworks on Wednesday night, uh, but it just, it looks like, it's just lovely, it still looks really big on me actually, it's a size 10, uh, and that's not a brag, that's just a fact, but I think that's fine with jumpers isn't it, because I'm, you know, I'm not as if I'm showing off, so, the next one, this, this I know is £10 because it's got it on the label, is a nice like, flannel, see I'm doing it again, nice flannel top, long sleeved, thought I can wear it as layers, uh, it's just nice and like, just nice and warm and like just foresty I suppose, I think I just want to be in a foresty mood as I'm going to centre parts. I just really like it. I like that it's all like poppers. Um, it's just, it just feels warm to me. Sense of theme now, um, because everything is like grey and like muted and like I've not got any like clothes this time. Um, other than other than the like the raspberry, what do we call the raspberry? Like a, the raspberry top. So this is a slouch slouchy tee. I love this t-shirt because um, I, I don't like like really really tight tops. Um, I just think they just show off my flabby tummy and my rolls and no one wants to see that from a mummy. So so slouchy tops are really good because they just like hide everything, they cling in the right place and they just fall in the right place and it was like two quid so I could like stock up and it's, it's really soft and it feels like it's going to be really nice and washable so a nice little staple there the next one i got is a stretch tee which is mm, it's a bit more fitted so it's a bit more like mm, not really as happy with this one but i like the color because it's a can you see that it's like a green like a, a khaki 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 not really khaki this is probably my, the most expensive thing that i bought um, from Tesco this time. Everything else has been from Primark. Um, these trousers, they look blue in there, but they, it's, um, it's definitely a black. Um, oh. um, these, are called, what's the official name for them? I think they're called contour jeans. Um, so they, they're quite tight fitting, but they're not meant to like sag, you know like when you get saggy knees and that little saggy bum bit at the back after you've worn them for like 10 minutes. So these aren't meant to have that because it's meant to be like high micro. So it's almost meant to be like a good version of jeggings I suppose. Uh, but they, yeah they look, they look really nice on uh, and they fit which is the most important bit because obviously with me being a size lower my bum keeps going really baggy and saggy and that doesn't do my attractiveness any favours whatsoever because it's not nice walking around thinking I've got a saggy ass. On that note, another grey, <laughs> grey trousers. Uh, these are grey jeggings from Primark. So you know normally I have to buy, I, I have to stay away from my trousers in Primark because I have a 34 inch leg and they generally only go up to 32. So, but with 
jeggings and things like that I can get away with because I've got my boots on the top and nobody needs to know that they are riding up my ankles and halfway up my leg because nobody will see that. Nobody will see that. So these have no buttons or anything, they're just elastic, uh, they're just really comfortable, they're just ordinary jeggings. So um, those are my purchases. See now when I was in the queue at Next as well, I saw one of their tote bags and I needed to buy it. It was £4. It's festive, which is why I had to buy it and probably why I bought it because my husband wasn't there because if he was would have been there he would have been like we do not need to buy another tote bag we do so this one was going to be in my bag <laughs> says catmus pudding amazing um so that oh, it just it just made me smile a little fat cat was like a little pudding with little berries on the top and the little holly winning I'm winning there so those were my purchases for holiday and you shall be seeing them in potentially vlogs and in pictures on my Instagram from our holiday I'm really looking forward to it if you have any questions about centre parks let me know and I'll answer them in a next centre park video Uh, so on that no 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 note, I'm going to get a cup of tea because I obviously need the caffeine. Uh, so as a reminder, please like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Really nice to speak to you this time, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.